All right, folks, um, I've been asked if I could give a little bit more information on exactly how you get a podcast online, how you get it included in a WordPress blog and, and everything. How do I actually edit it? I'm not going to do a full scale thing on editing today, but I am going to show you right every day when I put up Five Minutes for Jack exactly what it is that I do, how I install it in the back end of the website and everything. So I'm going to switch a tab here, and you can see I've already got the post that goes along with it for today's episode, episode 65. Is that right? Yeah, 65. And uh, so I've got all the text done, and I haven't tagged it up and all yet. I probably won't even show you that because you can figure out how to do that on your own. I just want to keep this brief and show you what to do. I've got my <clears throat> all-in-one SEO pack set up. I've got my title and my uh, my summary uh, description tag. And down here you'll see PodPress. This is the program you're going to need to install as a WordPress plugin. Go to Add Plugins in WordPress, search for PodPress, install and activate it. It'll be it whenever you go to do a post. It'll be here. You can go through all the settings and stuff. But the, today I'm just going to show you how you actually get the podcast with the player in there, how it's in the feed, gets out on iTunes, all that good stuff because of the, what's going on here. All right, so we have that all ready to go. And what I need to do then, of course, is actually get the file online uh, and edit it. So I use Sony Vegas, and this is Vegas here. You can use whatever program you use for editing. Um, but uh, as you can see, I have a project folder I can just minimize that because there's no video with this anyway. Um, but I have a project folder here, actually a project uh, template here, which which has, let me kill this. I don't know if you'll even hear this, but when I hit play here, there's my intro music. Welcome to 5 Minutes with Jack. And my voiceover. Insane entrepreneur. All right, so let me pause that and show you how that works. There's two different layers. The music's here. The voice is here, so I bring my actual podcast recording down to here, and that way I, ha I can control the volume and level things out on different, these are called layers again. Not a Sony Vo Vegas tutorial today, just kind of giving you an idea why I like Vegas, why I use it. Since the show is generally about the same length every day, I don't have to do a lot other than maybe move my concluding music and voiceover up a little bit. So up here I've got a file, this is from yesterday's, so I don't need it anymore, so it's out of there. I'm going to go File, Import, Media, and this is, I just got done with the Survival Podcast, so I'm in a different set of folders here. Jump up, jump into 5 Minutes with Jack, go in here, and then there's my audio file for today, January 5th, 2012. Um, I don't know how you're doing your recordings, but I would advise you to keep them organized by month and year, and in an order and sequence and easy to get back to. So it's an MP3, I'm going to just double click, bring it in, drag it into my timeline, and I'll go into here. See, today's show is a little bit closer to the actual five minutes. And I made some mistakes today. So you get to see me trim out a mistake. I had some phlegm or something like that going on and was coughing. So there's the intro part. And I know that it's probably right here that I... Hi, folks. Jackson, yeah. we'll go here with another episode. So that's, that's the part that I want to get out is that lead in right there. I'll delete that. I'll condense that back and I'll just set it so that it goes right about there. Give it a little check and see how that's going to work. Hi folks, Jack Spear, go here with another she might fade five out. I'm gonna... Jack Spear, here with another episode of five minutes. That, is, uh, one... that was just to make sure that my music's not, you know, overpowering my voice. And I know the end is fine. I don't really need to do any editing there. So I'm just going to drag. You can see why, you know, you can do all this with Audacity. Audacity is free. Uh, but you probably want to look at something like SoundForge uh, or Vegas if you do video as well uh, from Sony. It's just a much easier to use program in my opinion, and that'll work out for the end there. I'll just real quick right, check. Jack. All right. Thank you for so the editing's done. I'm gonna pause the. Rec I'll go ahead and show you how I generate the final file, and I won't make you sit through that. But okay, so I've got it ready to go. This is what's called the loop region in Vegas. That means that I'm only, if I don't do this, what will happen is I'll end up with all of this being part of the recording and there'll be like a minute and a half of dead space there. So I set the loop around the part I want to render. I go file, uh, render as, and again, it's it's going to go to the last place it went. So it's in for my survival podcast. Uh, so five minutes. You see I have an edited folder. I'm going to just go in there and just change the title. 65 save and it'll start rendering it out what I need to do next now is I need to get this file that's just been rendered onto my web server so to do that I'm going to use FTP 
Uh, definitely not going to do an FTP tutorial today, uh, but you can see there's the file. Here's the server. I did want to show you this, though, just so you can see how I organize. I have jackspearco.com forward slash audio. That's in your URL string. So it's just one folder inside another. This is on the internet. This is on my hard drive. And then you can see there's episodes from 2010, 2011, and 2012. And inside the 2012 folder, we have, you know, 112 for January 12th. Inside the 2011 folder, you see I did 11, 11, and 12, 11. So you can see that I keep things organized that way. So it's easy for me to work on. If something goes wrong, I can find the file very easily. All I'm going to do is take and grab the file and drag it over. And now it's uploading to the server. You can use uh, your cPanel has file manager. If you don't know how to FTP, I use Smart FTP. Uh, I've used it for years. It's it's like for a free trial, and then you have to pay for it. It's like 20 bucks or something like that. It's the best thing that I found, and I really like it. Okay, for some reason this thing has uh, hung up on me. I'm gonna hit restart, and it's transferring. So I'm gonna now pause the recording until um, until I get this uploaded. I'll show you what to do on the other side. Okay, so I'm back, and uh, I wanted to real quick again remind you, you need to have the PodPress thing installed. You see I'll click Add Media uh, File. And there's all these settings down here. If you use the settings, if you set everything up, you won't ever have to mess with this. Um, and when you install this, just go to the PodPress thing. You'll see right there it'll be added, and you can go there, and you can set up everything, and it'll help you tell you what you do to need. Uh, get all your community set up and everything so your podcast gets included in them. Anyway, now I need to put the file location here. So right here you can see jackspeaker.com forward slash audio, just like you saw in the FTP program. So you can see if I go in here now, there's all my episodes. And I need the most recent one. I right-click, copy link location. I love Firefox. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and paste that link in there. And I'll click auto-detect. And it'll detect the file size. I'll click auto detect. It'll determine how long the file is. Sometimes these will hang. If they do, just do an update on your WordPress, like you not know, publish but save draft. And when you do that, it and do this again, it'll see it. Now I need to give it a title. This way, when it goes into iTunes or any place else, the feed is sent. The title of the episode will show up. So I'll come up here and I just grab the title right out of the WordPress post. Copy. Come down here. And I'll paste. And real quick, I'll go ahead and do my tags for today's episode. I'll do selling, marketing. Uh, we'll add those. And I'm going to show you something. I think a lot of people don't realize this is here. See this choose the most used tags? So I can now browse tags like CEO thinking, business model. Um, and I can add tags that I commonly use. And uh, I think that will be good for today's tags for the posts. Um, and, uh, and I'll tell you what, don't put too many tags in your post. Four or five is plenty. Uh, you overburden it. I've got everything ready to go. I hit publish. And uh, once I hit publish, that's it, man. Uh, if I come over here and there's the front page of the site, and if I uh, just reload the home page, see episode 65 is now there. If I hit play. There it goes. And if I, uh, if I go into my feed, you can see that there, the post is in, it's embedded. And once you got it embedded in the feed, anywhere that uh, the feed is uh, being sent to, like iTunes or whatever, eventually it'll refresh and, and it'll get into those uh, things. And that's it. This is it. This is all you do uh, to get your podcast online. And uh, once it's online, of course, let people know about it. And uh, it's been another quick video with 5 Minutes of Jack.